In this video, I'll show you how to change your default font inside of Windows 11. So we first need to decide what font we're actually going to change to, and we can do this by heading over to our file explorer, come over to the C drive from the left hand side, scroll all the way down till you find this Windows folder, and once again, scroll down and come inside of fonts. Now, these are all the fonts that we have to choose from, and you'll just need to select a font from these options here. And once you've found the font that you want installed, then we just need to take note of the name. So say for example, I want this Cambria font here. I'm just going to head over to a notepad and make a note of that. And then we can come back to this folder. Now, if you don't like any of the fonts inside of here, you can also use the Microsoft Store to download additional fonts if you wish. And then once we've found the font that we want installed, we can then close out of this window. And we're going to head over to the start menu and this time search for registry editor and then head over to the registry editor app. Now, before we make any changes to the registry editor, it's always a good idea to create a backup. And that way, if we don't like the changes that we make, we can always revert back to our original settings. So to do this, come over to file at the top here, select export, and then you'll need to give your file a name. I'm just gonna call it fonts and then click save. And now that way, if we do want to restore our original fonts, we can just come over to file and select import and then you need to select your backup file. And then from this left hand panel, we need to expand H key local machine inside of software, scroll all the way down till you find the Microsoft folder and expand this, scroll all the way down till you find Windows NT, and we can also expand this inside of current version. Then you just need to click on this fonts folder down here. And from the right hand side, we'll see all of the fonts installed on our computer. And what we need to do is find the font that we selected at the very beginning. So my font here was this Cambria one. So I'm just going to go ahead and find Cambria from the list here. And once you've located your font, then simply double click on the file and you need to copy this value data just by right clicking and selecting copy. And we're also going to come over to our notepad and just paste that down here. And then we can minimize these windows and we can also minimize the registry editor. Now, what you need to do is head over to the start menu, search for notepad and then head over to a notepad. From here, you need to copy and paste all of this text that I'm about to provide you in the video description. So just come over to the video description now and copy and paste all of this into a notepad. And all we simply need to do is change this section here where it says your font name. And we're going to go ahead and paste this value here that we we just copied which should have the extension of your font file and we're going to go ahead and paste that inside of here so it should look something similar to this everything else you can leave the same and then we're just going to come up to the top here inside of file click save as and you'll need to give your file a name i'm just going to call it new fonts and we need to give it the extension .reg. Now it doesn't matter what you name this file, just make sure you do have the extension .reg here. And we need to save as type all files. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop and hit save. And then we're simply going to head over to our desktop and we're going to locate that file that we just made, which is this new fonts.reg one here. And all we simply need to do is right click on this file and you'll have the option to either open this or merge this. For me, I can just click open. Then we can just press yes to continue, click on okay. And then you'll need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. And once your computer's restarted, that would have now changed the default font across your Windows 11 PC. If you did want to restore the backup file, then all we'd simply need to do is head over to the backup that we made and also right click on this and just select open or merge. And that's going to go ahead and restore the fonts to their original default font. Now, if you did find this video useful, then please consider dropping a like and subscribe until next time.